Well, hey gang, it's your friendly neighborhood watchman here again, bringing you a, another video, this time on something I know we've all seen by now. The infamous slap heard around Hollywood and heard around the world after the fact, because especially here in the U.S., what happened happened during commercial and Will Smith swearing was, um, was censored. So we shall proceed with the video and I'll talk over it because, um, I know this ain't the first time you've seen it. You know who got the hardest job tonight? Harvey had brought them and his wife on the first nominee. Now, if she loses. So he goes off on Harvey. Harvey, yeah. He is praying that Will Smith wins. Like, please, Lord. Now he mentions Will. I love you. G.I. Jane, too. Can't wait to see it. All right? Now he's laughing right there. He's laughing right there. Well, oh, uh, his wife. Mm -mm. She ain't. She ain't liking that at all. So she gave him a look. She gave him a look, mm. and we can tell she ain't happy. So you sure as hell know he can. So you could tell. Ooh. Chris Rock didn't know what was going on. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. At this point, you know, people don't know if this is a, an act or what. Just cringy. So, my friends, what we have here is there's been a history between these two. From what I gathered, there's been a feud brewing between them two for about five to six years. Going back to when Chris hosted the Oscars back in 2016. He got on Will Smith's bad side when he, he used Will's wife, Jada, as a joke material in his opening monologue. If you remember, I don't expect you to because I didn't remember. I remember about it now after reading about it again. That he, you know, Chris, Chris Rock poked fun at Jada for boycotting the Oscars because her husband failed to receive a nomination for the movie Concussion. I forgot about that. I have forgotten about that because, you know, Oscars mean shit. To me, as is also a majority of Americans, it's nothing but a woke leftist circle jerk fest, a big ass echo chamber with awards and expensive clothing, expensive costumes. That's just so Chris Rock made a quip about Jada being mad and not coming. Jada boycotting the Oscars is like me boycotting Rihanna's panties. I wasn't invited, Chris said. He also went on, You get mad. It's not fair that Will was this good and didn't get nominated. It's also not fair that Will was paid $20 million for Wild Wild West. <laughs> no, that shit's true. See, after that show, TMZ had approached Will Smith for comment, but, but he refused to say anything. So I can see, I mean, I don't know either of them personally, obviously, all that went on and how they really feel toward each other. But <laughs> I mean, just from this, you can understand if Will, and I'm not excusing what he did, assaulting someone really that joke wasn't wasn't all that but i can see where will has his guard up and he doesn't exactly think highly of chris rock so of course you have two camps some people defending will smith and, and others aghast at, at what happened and how will smith reacted violently other comics are worried because now they feel you know they piss people off and people just coming from the audience and, and assaulting them but you gotta figure too Will Smith probably a hot mess. Well, most of us think of marriage. We obviously want it to be monogamous. And their married life, supposedly their private life, has been public. They've spoken about it separately and together. And it's been common knowledge for a while now that it was an open marriage. If not now, then it was. And that's what you get with an open marriage. If you love someone, you don't want to share them that, that way. 
intimately. That's how I feel anyway. So, journalists covering the award ceremony from the press area were instructed not to ask any attendees about Smith slapping Chris Rock, according to the BBC. Also, that late Sunday night, the LAPD issued a statement saying that Chris Rock had not filed a police report against Smith, but that if he chooses to do so, the police will investigate. Not too long after that incident, Will Smith won the Academy Award for Best Actor for King Richard. He apologized to practically everyone except Chris Chris Rock. Yes, said there's no love loss between those two. But I, I don't know what Chris Rock is thinking. Just keep poking that bear. So in case people don't know, I'm sure they've got to know by now, is that Jada have been coping with hair loss due to alopecia. So Chris's joke about G.I. Jane 2, it was well known that Demi Moore had a head shaved for that role. Now I can understand why it, it bothers Jada. You're going to that, right? Especially a woman. Don't want to lose their hair. Guys don't want to lose their hair. Cause you can imagine a woman. Chris Rock just need <laughs> He needs to lay off uh, joking on um, someone's wife. On and on and on. Been going after a particular person's wife. Nothing good going to come out of that. Again, I don't agree with what happened. I'm just trying to find out underlying causes for it and I'm sure um, their goings on in their marriage whether he admits it or not um, just doesn't didn't sit well with, with Will Smith yeah Chris Rock didn't know what to do with himself but hey that's how the Oscars got people to watch after the fact you know those two they had stopped calling each other husband and wife they don't really believe in monogamy and in July of 2020 they as a couple sat together to publicly talk about Jada's affairs. This woman put him in. He's just a mess. It's a freaking mess. You know, you want to go around being cuckold all your life? You want to be screwing around with the people? Don't freaking get married. And that's the bottom line. Because the watchman said so. If you disagree, then go on being a pathetic cuckold all your life. Aha! Uh -huh. And that's all I got to say about that. Woohoo, Oscars. Finally got some press again. For all the wrong reasons though. And with that folks. I'll end this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't done so already. And if you have. I thank you. I appreciate you. And until next time. As always. Take care. And I bid you peace.